Hello fellow diamond painting addicts and welcome back to Diamond Painting Anonymous. Today I am going to be kitting up one of my Diamond Express paintings. This is my hummingbird mosaic. I have already in the unboxing checked off to make sure that I have all of the numbers that I need. So I do. I have tried something new this time and I made myself my own stickers to put on my containers. I'm gonna be using my Harbor Freight containers. So we'll see how this goes. So number 154. So I have cut through these, that I printed it on sticker paper. Well, first I scanned it in from the canvas and then I printed it off on sticker paper and then I um, cut it, which I didn't cut it all the way through, obviously. So I guess I just need to do that now, cut it all the way through. I was trying to keep them from getting lost, but that isn't working. So I still need to do some fine tuning with how I want to do this, but at least I have the symbol from the canvas, which is good because interestingly, If I'm looking at the little sheet here, this looks like an H. I cannot even read what that symbol is on this sheet of paper. So 154, but I have the numbers on there. So I'm going to go by that. My one of these is full and one of them isn't. I had some of these bags with a previous kit and I will say again these are not my favorite I understand why they're packaged this way I mean actually I don't but I'm not in charge of packaging so it doesn't really matter what I think does it okay 315 let me kind of separate some of these out 315, I should have three bags of. That's not 315. Neither is that. Neither is that. Neither is that. Oh, here it is. It's this one. Okay. And those look like they are not all completely full. So let me put my sticker on while I'm thinking about it. I'm actually kind of curious to see how this looks, this works out for me because I've seen other people do this with the stickers and I know like for Diamond Art Club, having the symbols on them when I do them for the Diamond Art Club ones is really helpful, but I've never really worried about it with the other ones. I just get used to what the numbers are, what the symbols are, which colors are which symbol as I'm doing it. So it's never been that big a deal to me. So yeah, I'm kind of curious to see how this works out. Okay, so this one is going to be 645, and I should have two of those according to my inventory sheet. Yep, here they are. And these are both gray. Excuse my printer, it's possessed apparently, if you can hear that. I don't know why it's going off, no one's printing anything. Isn't that the great thing about technology though? You, uh, it's great when it works and then when it breaks, it's never something easy to fix, is it? At least it usually isn't for me. Okay, 647, which is this gray color here. Let me cut some more of these. I think it was this one, yes, 647. Need to get one of those small trash bins for my desk so I can just have it up here to throw stuff in so it's out of the way instead of just having to push it off to the side. But that's a 
someday purchase. Haven't done that yet. I've looked, I haven't found any that I like. I do not live someplace that we have an Ikea. So I can't just go there and look for all their fancy storage solutions. Cause if I could, I would. All right, next is number 800. So that's this one. So there's 800 and I should have two of those. Oh, it's this pretty, this pretty blue color that I liked so much. I don't think I got through the seal on both of those. Let me cut that a little bit shorter. There we go. Okay. There's all of those. That is such a pretty color. Okay, then 822, which is where? That's 823. Where's 822? Am I missing them again? Oh, it's this color, I bet. No, that's 844. Where did it go? Oh, I've got it laying off to the side because there were five bags of it. So 822, find the sticker for that. I'm gonna cut these apart a little bit just because there's five of them. I do like using these Harbor Freight containers with these bags though because it does make it easier to kind of pour everything in because the Harbor Freights have such a wide opening that you can just kind of dump them all in there. Okay, so there's 822. Then I need 823. So these are gonna get kitted up in DMC order because that's how they are on the inventory sheet. I guess that's how they are on the canvas as well in DMC order. So maybe that'll make sense as I go along. As I do these. It's always interesting to find new companies and then try and figure out how things work. Is this 838? Yes. Okay, so it's this brown color that I have three of. If I can pick up the sticker. Okay. Shake those down so I can cut. Whoops, that's 844. 838. That was almost a mistake. That wouldn't have been good. That would have been very confusing. And I would have been very upset when I realized it halfway through the diamond painting. Because <laughs> that would be when I realized it. All right, I need to cut some more of these. I should have just cut them all the way through, but I was trying to keep them all together. I guess it didn't really matter, did it? All right, the next one is 844. So that's the brown one I just tried to do. So 844, good thing their symbols are different. All right, that's 844, yes. I really hate that's the thing I don't like about these bags is because they're printed on. Yeah, it looks great when they're empty. It's really clear and you can read it. But when you have a dark color in there, trying to, to get it in just in the light right so that you can read which color it is is kind of crazy. Because it's not easy to do. Okay, so now I need 931. Which is this sticker. 
And I'm trying to look while I'm putting these stickers on and figure out which color it is that I need. So I can put these on here. So 931, there's only one bag, so it's this little bag right here. Okay, so there's that one. And then I need 939, which is this sticker. So there's 939. Is that a question mark? No. It looks like a question mark, but then this one is also a question mark. So one is blue. Maybe that's a seven. I don't know. Hopefully when I get to preparing the canvas, it will all become a little bit more clear. Or not, we'll, we'll find out. Uh, okay, then I need 966, which is a green color. And I should have two bags of that, which I do. 966 right here. Cut the top off of those. Whoops. Oh, it fell in there for me. Sort of. Not. Get that one in there. Come on. It wants to stick in there. All right, so there's that one. Then I need 3045, which is two bags. Let me put that on there. 3045. Those have some extra air in them. It's nice when they have a little bit of extra air in them because then it makes it easier to cut. Okay. So there's that. And then I need, so I've got to cut some more of these. I need, I just did 3045, so now I need 3047, which is this one. And I should have four bags of this. So, no, I was going to try and cut all four at once, but nope, there's not enough room in the bags. Those two had plenty of airspace. I don't know what these two do. These look like they're full, a little bit more full. I don't know if they're actually more full or if they just look like it because they don't have air in them like the other bags do, but it makes it harder to get the drills to fall down. I guess you don't want to be paying for shipping for air, right? Three, three, five, four. Is this pretty pink color laying here? I'm trying to peel these stickers. Definitely going to have to come up with a better way to do this, but it works for now. It's funny how when you try something new and then you kind of have to play with it to figure out how it best works for you because whoever you watched has done it long enough they kind of have their own system and they know what works for them but that doesn't always work for the person watching okay 3607 is another pretty kind of purple color it's this one, Let me open this up so I can just cut and dump them in there. Okay. And then I got 3689, which is another pretty pink color. Come on, peel off there. So this is 3689. This is a really pretty color. 
not very much of it, but it's very pretty. Okay, and then I've got three colors left. 3750 is the next one. So let me peel this off. And 3750, I have three bags of. So I've got three bags of that right here. I'll fold these so I can cut the top off. I think I tried to cut through a drill accidentally. Let's hope that didn't mess anything up. I mean, in theory, I have spares, right? So it shouldn't be a big deal if I did mess it up. Um, and then 37.55. So let me get that on there. 37.55 is this one. This is another pretty blue. Okay. And the last one is 37.65, which is a dark blue. Okay. There's actually quite a few colors in this for this only being a 20 by 20, so I was kind of surprised. Pleasantly surprised, but surprised. Okay, so there are all the colors kitted up in my Harbor Freight ready to go. I'm gonna slip that in there just for now so that I can keep it there. And then I am going to let me get rid of my trash here because I have quite the trash pile going. And then I will pull out the canvas and prepare the canvas so you can see what I'm gonna do with it. It is, like I said, very small. It is only a 20 by 20. So basically to make my stickers, I stuck this in my scanner and I scanned it. So that is an H. That is a seven, okay. So I tried to cut off the excess of the um, double-sided tape. However, it did not like me. So I am just going to put washi tape on it. So I have thin washi tape that I'm going to be using just because, and I'm going to use probably this silver one because as you can hear, there's not very much of it left. I'm probably gonna run out, actually, before I even get this side done, or get this canvas done, I mean. So, I'm just gonna put it down there, try not to stick to it. Okay, so there's that little bit. Let's see how much is left. Okay, there's still quite a bit, so I'm gonna try and go across the top. I'm just gonna peel this whole thing off, and I'm gonna go across the top here. Make sure you guys can see what I'm doing. And I'm just gonna lay it down as straight as I can, and then I'm gonna press it in place. And if it's a little too long, I just rip it off. The side doesn't need to be that long, so I will just rip it off. Okay, maybe I'll tear this or cut this one because it's not cooperating. Because of course it isn't, because I'm filming it, so it wants to give me problems. Okay, let's see. Yep, I ran out. Okay, so I'm gonna use this last little section that I do have to finish off this piece right here. So it goes all the way to the bottom. So there's that. And then I will just use this other silver one that is not quite the same, which sounds like it's running out, but it really isn't. It has plenty. So then I will do the same thing. 
I will just lay it down over here, try to get it as straight as I can, and then I will push it down. Okay, that's a little long, so I'm gonna cut that off. Okay, there we go. And then the last piece for the bottom here. Apologies if people hate that noise. And I'm gonna do the same thing, try to lay it across as straight as I can here. Okay, so now I've got it washi taped off. And then I'm going to pull out my X-Acto knife because there are a few little wrinkles that I can see. So I'm just going to go across them with my X-Acto knife here and just make little slices at intervals across them. And then I will put the cover paper back over and kind of smooth it down where I've cut it. There's quite a few in here actually that I didn't realize. Here's this one got pretty wrinkled. But yeah, this is a trick I saw somewhere. I can't remember where. And basically when they applied the glue or maybe when in transit, because of the way it was packaged, you get these little kind of wrinkles and they get air trapped underneath them. So if you just slice them and then go over them with like a credit card or something with a smooth edge, like, um, a ruler or something with the cover paper over it, obviously not directly on the tape, um, and kind of smooth out the air bubbles, then your drills won't rock when you lay them down. I think I got most of them. Okay, so let me pull my little trash off here. Then I'm going to lay this back down and then I'm just gonna kind of go over it with my hands. You know what, I've got like a little card right here. This is just paper, that's not going to be stiff enough. Um, Let's see, I have, oh, one second. Let me grab this. It's a little bit stiffer. And then I can just kind of go over it like this to smooth out those wrinkles as best I can. And then pull it back up and look. So there, there was a wrinkle right there, but I can still see it, but I can't feel it anymore, which is what you're going for. Like right there, there were some wrinkles right there, but as I run my finger over, even though I can see that wrinkle, I can't feel it anymore, so my drills are gonna lay flat. I think that did a pretty good job for most of those. Okay. So I'm happy with that. I can get rid of my cover paper. I don't like these cover papers necessarily because I feel like I like to be able to kind of, well, I don't wanna be able to see through it, but I like to be able to control how big my sections are. And I am not good at cutting through um, the cover paper without cutting all the way through the canvas. And so I'm, I'm just afraid I'm gonna cut through the canvas. So. Instead of doing that, I have release papers that I use. Now I have cut these in half. These were four by six release papers. Whatever the standard size is, that's four by six inches. So it's like 5.9 centimeters or something like that. I, I don't remember what it is. Anyway, I just cut them in half. And then I will just go through 
and place them. And I'm not gonna be overly concerned about whether or not I've got an exact row of drills or whatever, um, because it's okay with me if they overlap a little bit. In fact, I kind of prefer if my release papers don't line up simply because that way it doesn't look um, like I don't have a line down the middle of my um, painting because of it. Now, it does lead to weird sections sometimes and that's okay with me too. So this is such a small painting that I could have used the regular size release papers and, and gotten away with less, but that's okay with me. I don't, like I said, I don't mind that it overlaps here. This might drive some people crazy, I don't care. Um, it won't bother me at all. I will just start at that section. I, in fact, I'll probably do this whole section, this whole side first, and then I'll just work my way over. Um, sometimes I will put, um, oh, here's my little, I use it to hold my release papers, isn't it pretty? my passport holder. Anyway, um, sometimes I will number these and then I'll use my wheel app so that I kind of, but this one is so small, I'm not going to be doing that with this one. So like I said, I probably will just start in these small sections down here and then just work my way across because it's so small. So I'm actually looking forward to this one. I can't wait to see how it turns out. So if you like this video, don't forget to do all the things, give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button for me, and don't forget to hit the bell notification icon so that you can be informed of future uploads. So when I finish this, you can see that video too. As always, thanks for watching guys.